guys, Scope Scripter here, back with another video. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how to create default clothing in Roblox um, so that, you know, you can choose what your character wears. And, you know, yeah, that's kind of a cool thing to do. Um, and it's crucial for a lot of games, I know. So I'm going to just be showing you guys how to do that. So it's very easy, no scripting required. Um, but the first step is just to publish your game. Now, if you don't know how to publish your game or you haven't done it already, just go right up here, click File, Publish to Roblox as Create New Game, and then you can just name it whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to leave it as Untitled Game, and then I'm just going to hit Create. Now, for some people, it takes longer than others to publish. That's fine, but eventually, this tab should come up saying uh, Place Published Successfully, and then you can just hit Close. Now, the reason we need to publish the game is so we can access game settings. Um, so if the game isn't published, game settings cannot be opened, and it will just ask you to publish the game if you try to open the game settings. So once we have published the game successfully, we can go right up here to the Home tab, and we can go right over here to Game Settings, and we're just going to click that. And it will pull up all these different settings. So a lot of these are very important. I suggest you take a look at these. But for the purpose of this video, again, we're, I'm just showing you how to make like mandatory clothing and stuff. So we're just going to go over here um, down to Avatar. And again, there's a lot of stuff over here. You can choose animation, collision, rig type, whatever. But we're just going to go and scroll down a bit. And we're going to see um, right here, body parts and clothing. So you'll see these options, override player choice. And you'll see all these things, ID number, ID number. Um, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to Roblox, um, the website. Because we're going to need to get the ID number for these clothing. Uh, for the clothing so that you know it will be our mandatory our mandatory clothing so um go just go to roblox.com oh looks like there's a problem right now <laughs> anyways um so go to roblox.com and you're just going to go to the avatar shop and you can take anything from the avatar shop for this video i'm just going to take a shirt so i'm just going to search for a shirt um let's see um, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to take the rainbow hoodie. And you can take any avatar item you want. It really doesn't matter. But just go to an avatar item, find it. And then right up here, you'll see in the URL, you'll see this like string of numbers right here. Copy this. This is the asset ID. So copy that. And now we're going to go back into Roblox Studio. And right here where it says shirt ID, we're going to paste that number in and we're going to click this little thing right here to override the player choice and we're going to click save. And now if we test the game, what will happen? The player will be wearing that rainbow hoodie from over here. So let's just go back into Roblox Studio, give it a moment to load. And here we are. And now look, see the shirt, as you can see, is the rainbow hoodie as we have chosen. And if I go and I change my avatar, um, it won't matter because obviously this is uh, mandatory clothing. We, we can't change that. We set that in the game settings. And you can do the same process for pants, um, you know, hats, anything you really want. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll be seeing you guys in some of my future videos.